because I stand behind the brave Ukrainian people, I, I, I'm, I'm making an effort and show some more um, uh, pharaonic symbols of uh, occult symbols of Yanukovych. I mean, symbols don't lie. And if you look at the, at the, sh at the size of this uh, palace, you know, you, you know this is a, a narcissistic uh, a pharaoh. It's all pharaonic, and uh, it, it, it gives a, a creepy feeling that he, he thinks he can come back like. So this here is the sun hieroglyph at the entrance of his home in another form. These are the two bars, and here's the round thing in the middle, the sun. Um, it, it, it happens a lot, they show it in, a, in another form. But it's definitely that, you know. And the, and the house is full of it. Every room has pharaonic occult symbols of Octogon, the motherland. So here is a huge Octogon. And of course here are the ovals of the Vesica Pitchers. And it even looks like uh, sun hieroglyphs all over the bar, the round thing, the bar, the round thing. And this is the joining for the Freemasons, very important. It means we stick together. We have a chain, like the chain of command. Now, I mean, why put this at the back of a sofa, of a chair? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll give you a close up picture then of these things here, just a minute. So, this is the joining. And I tell you again, uh, symbols don't lie. So if you have any doubts about this guy and about Putin sitting together with him, well, don't have any more doubt. These are pharaohs. This is the aristocracy. These are the Tsars. Like in the word Tsar, as in a sarcophagus, it means the king. That's why there's the word Tsar. Like in Caesar, the king of Rome. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Sarkozy, the king of um, France. The Tsars, the Russian Tsars, the wind Tsar, it's all Tsar. And Tsar means a king, as in a sarcophagus, which is a box to put the king in when he's dead. I told you all this in the Pharaoh show and Octagon, the Empire of Darkness and Pharisocracy. Well, have a look at it. So this is Octagon of the Templars. There's even an Octagon here in the, in the middle, and this one here. And, uh, yeah. Because the Templars, they always build their castles and everything octagonal. And they are pharaohs as well, which I explain in, in the film Pharisocracy. So the pharaohs never disappeared and they became the, um, the aristocracy. And I call them the pharisocracy. And they decided to hide in Freemasonry lodges. And here's the sun hieroglyph of the pharaohs. And I think this is another one. And up here there's some more. Here we can see the symbol of Octagon and where he belongs to, where he's got his money on a Swiss Octagon Swiss bank. It has eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circles around it. It's not an entirely, well from here the picture shows it's not entirely octagonal, the shape here. But that doesn't matter, everybody knows the insider, they, the insiders, they all know uh, what is meant with it, you know. And because he's very narcissistic, this guy, he only thinks about himself. <laughs> I mean, you, can, you, you can see, he only thinks about himself. He doesn't care about the people. You know, so he does it in a different form. And these forms have existed as well uh, throughout history. Well, I mean, people look at what's glittering. And uh, so this guy is, say, the, the Ukrainian guy in Russian, he's saying Il Illustria. You know, the lamp here. But, you know, the most important thing he doesn't see. So here's, like, um, at the door, at the entrance, is a sun hieroglyph here again. And there's another one here. I'll give you a close-up. These are pharaonic symbols of the aristocracy. They never left. The Tsars are still there. And um, the communists with Stalin, they were also uh, the aristocracy. They just took over control again. You know, like Lenin, he said, if you want to control the opposition, then uh, take the lead of it. Oh, there it is. The Sun hieroglyph. They always, you know, they infiltrate everything. 
even national socialism of the Germans. In the beginning it was quite a good thing, helping the Germans who were starving, just like the Ukrainian people, and then got, got infiltrated by Adolf Hitler and his gang, you know, with his Swiss bank accounts, and he was financed by Switzerland, by uh, General Ulrich Wille in 1923. So then it became a very evil thing, as we all know. The same with communism. And I hope I can help the Ukrainians with all this here, that their new movement of the Ukrainian revolution doesn't get in um, infiltrated. But it looks like, uh, you know, all the oligarchs in the, in the new governments, you know, it's already infiltrated, all for nothing. And here's another one. I mean, he shows it all over this guy. It's, it's amazing. You know, he's showing off to his pharaonic pals. And then there's this oligarch, Igor Kolomoisky. Oh, he's even living in Geneva in Switzerland. A billionaire. Switzerland always got their dirty little fingers in it. All over, everywhere, always. That's their base. You know, so if we want to change the world, we should start cleaning up in Switzerland. And cleaning out all the Swiss caves and etc. Oh, look at this pharaonic uh, wall here. You know, <laughs> two times the sun hieroglyph here. It's not really, it might be the acacia leaves of the, the joining. And here, definitely the oval. And it goes on here. You know, this is one circle here. And here's the other circle. And it's forming the oval, as in the oval office. And this is part of a joining here, going up here. I can't see it all. I, I, I would really like to come here and analyze it for you guys. And do show this to uh, Mr. Klitschko and his brother. Yeah, they, they would love to see it. And there's a lot of uh, disinfo about Klitschko and all this. That he's uh, like a Zionist and all this crap. Um, uh, well, I mean, uh, here are the proofs who the bad ones are. So I mean, if uh, and then there's uh, Yulia Timoshenko, who who was in prison. There's a lot of disinfo about her as well, just as they do about me, you know. But if you see all these, these are proofs. These are not lies, you know. It's all here. Then you know who the bad ones are. So if these guys lock this woman up, then she's okay, you know. You know what I mean? She's okay, folks. <laughs> I mean, look at the pharaonic altar, you know. Here's the joining again at the back of the uh, of the seat of the sofa. You know, it, it it has otherwise it has no meaning at all. Why put something like this at the back of the sofa? And there's much more to see. This is the sun hieroglyph, the round thing in the middle, the two bars here. It's always at the chimney somewhere. I can't see what this is. Oh, here's another small sun hieroglyph. This is probably two times Isis. And here's the oval again, and the sun hieroglyph. Um, it, it's th th this looks very pharaonic. I think a similar thing we found, like in the grave of uh, Tutankhamun. Right, look at it. You know, they're all pharaohs, the aristocracy, the nobility. I mean, look at it. You know, it, 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 the whole sensation is pharaonic. It's it's like opening up. The grave of some uh, of a pyramid of some of some pharaoh. Well, the pyramids most most likely were no graves at all, you know. But okay, anyway, it's it's like opening up a pharaonic grave. Look at it. I mean, we all feel it, and I explain it to you. Your feelings. I tell you what your feelings are. Everybody, all Ukrainians who've been in here. We all, they all probably had this creepy feeling, so what's going on here? There's something, I've seen it before, like, you know, and, and all the gold and glitter, and then where did I see it? Well, I tell you, it's pharaonic, and the proofs are there. Symbols don't lie. <laughs> I mean, look at this pharaonic little fancy table. And these are horns. You know, these are horns. Probably a poor an an uh, elephant or... A rhino had to believe it, you know. It's a black horn. This is a black horn in gold, set in gold. Oh, this is, it's horrible, it's disgusting, you know. 
So, I mean, symbols don't lie. I told you a couple of times. But Yanukovych, he lies. He never told you about the symbols, did he now? Of course he didn't. It's full of it. So here, this is the joining of the Freemasons all over. It means like we, we keep together, we stick together here as well. Oh, you can't see that. Uh, all these, the, these are the sisters of Isis here. Yeah. That's the Eve syndrome. As I told you, the, the, uh, the higher nobility, they mixed through the Prime Noctus, raping our women with us. And out of this, the lower nobility came out. <laughs> So, uh, would be a good thing to look into his uh, genealogy of uh, Yanukovych. I tell you, you end up in Switzerland. Bloody Pharaoh. Well, let's have another look at the chimney again. Uh, this is definitely the sun hieroglyph here. Well, let's count these. I tell you, it's going to be 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I told you so. 13. Because they chopped up Osiris' body in 13 parts. And the American flag has 13 stripes. It's all the same thing, you know. And here's another sun hieroglyph like uh, hidden under the horse here. Oh, this is heavy stuff, eh? Well, this is the Horus Matrix in short. You know, the sisters of Isis here. I think she's uh, giving milk to a child here. And this is the offspring. This is Isis, Isis, and this is Horus, you know. And by killing the man and raising them, uh, the children themselves, look at my video about Omaha Beach. Um, it, uh, the name is No More Wars, Fight the Enemy Within. They think they can make little angels who obey to them. And this is why we got all the wars. And this is why we had the Holodomor and 10 million brave Ukrainians had to die and their children, you know. Because the pharaohs couldn't use them. Well, this is the, the Horus Matrix. You know. They want to create man again, new, from scrape. From scratch, sorry. And here again on this vase, you know, a lot of gold. And this is the joining again. We stick together, you know. We hold together. We organize. We lie against the people. Well, this is indicating Seth or Sethon, Satan, Seton, the devil. One hand up, or one down. What's below is what's up is below. And uh, well, I mean, uh, they lie to us. Everything is a lie. Uh, deception is the biggest enemy of evil. Hey, eh? clean Switzerland. Hey, eh? so neutral and always innocent. They never did anything wrong. Hey, eh? deception is the biggest arm. Of evil, eh, Swissies? Here too, in the balcony, it's a sun hieroglyph all over. I'll give you a close-up picture. Symbol of the pharaohs. Ukrainians are my favorite people. I would like to become a Ukrainian, so um, uh, come and help you people. Uh, the round thing in the middle, and sort of like the two little things or the two bars. And there's another one here on top here. The round thing in the middle and the two bars here. It's another form. It's very artistic. Uh, they are allowed to, to show it in different forms. But of course, there's the original one as well. And, uh, but it's um, the artist's uh, freedom of expression, his sun hieroglyph. And he's, showing the, he's showing off with the circles, you know. There's the inner circle, the checkered floor of the Freemasons, you know. There's that political wing, true pharaohs, and they got a, uh, a military wing, the Templars, and they got a, uh, a uh, religious wing, the, uh, the church, and they have a financial wing, Switzerland. And this is the same thing we saw in carved in wood when you go into the, uh, into the house. This is the bar, you know, these things here, and the round thing in the middle. It's all over. And um, yeah, he's showing the uh, the circles of power here. I showed it to you in, in another video. And again, within the big uh, sun hieroglyph, we can see the a small sun hieroglyph with a round thing in the middle and sort of two bars on each side. Well, they they do that a lot. And um, 
even here in the bathroom for his wife, you know, <laughs> you get thrown at it at, with it all over, you know, the triangle of the Freemasons. And I suppose this is the, the grain. Our blood is here, our grains are here, our descendants are here. And, um, well, this guy's heavy, you know. <laughs> I think he's even, with all this showing here, he's a, he's a, he's a danger for their own organization, you know. You know, it's always uh, a, a, a big mouth in crime, a big mouth showing off and buying a sports car immediately with the dough like, you know, and, and everybody, uh, <laughs> look at the pharaonic bedroom. Here's the Vesica Peiches forming the oval into a uh, Swiss cross almost. Here, this is a circle and these are circles and this is a circle like this. And this is a circle and they're all forming ovals, the oval office. Here's the fleur de lis, the symbol of the, of the aristocracy or the fair aristocracy. Another triangle of the, the Freemasons uh, with the sun hieroglyph in the middle. Here's another one. Oh, you can't see that one. Uh, well, this guy, he's, uh, he's so confident of his, of his lies. He's an enormous psychopathic liar uh, while he's showing all his uh, his symbols to whom he really belongs all over his his Swiss oversized chalet. Oh, here's the fleur de lis it's the uh, the Nile lily actually of the pharaohs of the aristocracy there is the Vesica Beiches, here all these circles here forming a lot of nice ovals, another circle, and here's a circle. It's in the oval office. This as the joining, it means uh, well it's also the um the womb of Isis and a part of the all seeing eye if you put the eye in here. And uh, it also means uh th th that's why it has another colour here. You know, it means like uh, joining together an organization. So this part here, which has a different color, they have in common. So like this is one person or one organization. This is the other person. And this is their organization, what they have in common. You know, and uh, well, that, that's what it means, actually. Here's a weird leather alchemy sort of book straight out of Lord of the Rings or um, Harry Potter, if you wish. Yeah, you know, look at it on all these circles here. They're in, it's for his children, you know. They get raised with these things, you know. And here's the oval. Looks like two planets here and one in the middle. It's, it's again the round thing in the middle and the two bars at each side going diagonal. Even for his kiddies, eh? They get raised with it real quick. And to indoctrinate and raise the children, you know, this is in the children's room of Yanukovych, you know, with all the children's drawings and they show this. It means keep silent. Deception is our biggest weapon. Don't talk. We got the secret. The joining. We join together. We got the uh, Vesica Peiches. We organize and the Europeans and the Ukrainians, they are just our slaves. And uh, it reminds me of Switzerland, how they keep tight and silent with their neutrality swindle, you know. It's so typical Swiss, you know, keeping secrets. Yeah. I can't see it very well, you know, but um, here's another, the round thing in the middle. I think this is an octagonal form here. And here's also the the round thing in the middle, and it all it all looks very very aristocratic, as any any criminal inspector, um, Scotland Yard FBI type, you know, knows. If you want to solve the crime, then follow the money into Switzerland. So in his palace, it shows the uh, the Orthodox Church here with the joining. You know, what is the joining doing in an Orthodox Church? Well, here it shows in this Pharaonic palace, you know, if they are so religious or well, seem to be, or uh, then religion is not for us. It's not for the Europeans. It's not for the world. It's for them. And they, um, they talk about some invisible being up in the skies and 
always you have to show the other cheek, you know, and, and present the other cheek to them and uh, have them beat you and, well, don't rise up, don't defend yourself, you know, that's what they like, eh? So this is their religious wing. It's one of the at least four wings. The religious wing, the political wing, the Freemasons, the uh, financial wing, Switzerland, and the military wing, the, uh, the Templars, Octagon, also Switzerland. So here again in the church, the, the Holy Shrine, you know, with all their heroes. I don't think they're our heroes, you know. They probably show a lot of mass murderers here, you know, killing the people. I mean, this guy is lying to us, you know, and, and he's, uh, what the religion, uh, you know, concerning the religion and Yanukovych, I don't even think he's a hypocrite, you know, about this, because it's their religion with totally different criteria and beliefs than what they present to us. So their belief is a, is a totally different one than the one they make us believe, you know. So he really believes in this, but it's only, it's for them. All religions come from the pharaohs. I will not be surprised that they've done some sacrifices here with children. And in the cellars I also saw some torture chambers. So first the torture chambers and then do the rest here like, you know. So here's a lion, you know in his um with with the tennis court behind you know and all these pharaonic uh, pillars why a lion because the lion is the symbol of the uh, the pharaonic dignity and the aristocracy they continued this line and this uh, heritage and in in most f uh, aristocratic um coat of arms of the nobility you find a lion so, I mean, the Ukraine, there are no lions. In Europe, there are no lions. You've got wolves and bears. So why not a wolf or a bear? It's always a lion. Because there's a foreign power ruling over us. The pharaohs. This is another proof. This guy is... It, he, it, it's, it's very thick here, what, what he's showing us here. Very, very thick. And he, he might be... A, he's a big danger for his own... Pharaonic organization because he's showing off too much. Uh, he wanted to be the king, but he's lying. Lie on. <laughs> so here are some more sun glyphs. Here's one, and here's one. Probably the, uh, and here's the joining up here, and here's another joining, and oh, there's a lot more to see. I should come and have a look myself. So guys, give me a Ukrainian passport and a citizenship and a Ukrainian nationality. I would be proud of it because you're very brave people. And um, I would like to, um, to make part of you. And uh, to, to be with you and I'll analyze it for you. Okay? Well, this is left of his gun collection. I suppose the, uh, the Ukrainians, they provided themselves with a couple of goodies, eh? It's all empty. <laughs> oh, he took it with him in his chopper. So this guy really has a violent side, you know, you see. It's, um, it's under the belt level, you know. Subconscious, um, sub-violence. He doesn't show it, but it's there, you know. That's why he, he had, this looks like all sniper rival things, you know. That's why he had... He had them shot at, shoot at the people, you know. This is showing the true nature of his underlying uh, psychology of this guy, eh? See? Oh, there's an interesting room here. Uh, I mean, what do you make of it? Well, the carpet looks a bit um, um, a Arabic, Muslim type. You know, this is, this, this is like a prayer room for inviting Muslims, you know. The ones who have the oil. Well, well, Ukraine has a lot of oil. That's what it's all about, partly. The Jews' tragical, strategical part of it. So this is uh, the part of the lake or the sea. Is it the Black Sea? I don't know. 
Well, anyway, this is Le Fleur de Lis. It's a symbol of the aristocracy. So this guy, he's, it is the aristocracy. The Russian Revolution, it never worked out. You know, they took hold of the revolution very quickly after and then killed all these people, the Holodomor and everything. Apparently, they don't like the Ukrainians very much, you know. Um, this is the aristocracy. Symbols don't lie. Yanukovych lies, you know, with this woman, you know, putting her, uh, her index finger on her lips. You know, don't say anything. Keep the secret. Keep tight. Do it the Swiss way, you know. But symbols don't lie. This is, uh, this is the nobility, this is the black nobility, and they rule the world. They do. Well, and here is the, uh, the ship where he built a restaurant in it. Uh, he called it Galleon, or Le Galleon, Leon, that's the lion. He put the word lion, because normally it's with an I here. So he made a reference to the, uh, to the lion as well, the, the, one of the symbols of the pharaonic dignity. And at the same time, uh, it refers to all his money and gold, which he has stashed in, in Octagon, Switzerland. That's why he called it Galleon. He's so narcissistic. It, it's so thick over it, you know. And here is a reptilian on the bow of the ship. It's a reptilian, you see? Look at that. Well, this is thick, eh? So... <laughs> I wonder why he uh, why he put this uh, this woman with the, with the index finger on her, on his lips, you know, on her lips. Sorry, why well, he looked a bit like a he. <laughs> so you know, um, I mean, he doesn't keep quiet. Look at it. This is shouting out loudly, eh? Who he is? Who he really is? It's nothing. This is not a whisper. This is a cry, a cry for psychological help. It is, you know, like. Please help me, I'm so, you know, I'm so disturbed. And would anybody, you know, well, anyway, okay. Well, these were the kind of cops he was drinking out, you know. And of course, this is ISIS. The uh, symbol here, uh, the logo, looks a bit like the American coffee shop. What's the name again? <laughs> he even had bottles made with his own face on it. <laughs> Isn't this guy a laugh, eh? It says, export vodka to all the other pharaohs so that they, they think of him, you know? Every time they drink, they, they have to think of Yanukovych. It says, export vodka. So they export it to his Swiss pals, to the uh, nobility in England, you know, that's how they do it, you know? It's all gold and... <laughs> even looks serious, I mean... This, this is a slapstick, isn't it? Jeez. Well, this is very interesting here, look. Why does it show a gold goose foot here? Well, I'll tell you. This is one of the symbols of the reptilians. In French they call it pied doigt. The foot of the goose. And uh, in France they really had this cagot people. Who some of them had one foot, like uh, La Dame, uh, La Reine, La Reine de Pied, uh, de, de Pédoc. and um, I mean th this is a reptilian foot on his on his gold plated toilet. Yeah. So this reptilian foot um, refers to uh, who they really are, you know. Piedois, Le Cago. Even one of Napoleon's generals was a Cago. And the Cago, they could only live high up in the mountains because they're missing some, uh, some elements. They can't live near to the sea. I forgot the name of it. The mountains, you see? The Alps, the mountains, Switzerland. Uh, this is interesting as well. I think this is octagonal. It looks octagonal as to refer to the uh, the, the Templars and the Nazi Templars, to uh, whom they who were also part of the aristocracy. And look at the people here. I'm I'm very surprised. The Ukrainians they're so collected and so quiet and and uh, um, so peaceful. You know, walking around here. I mean, 
we've seen all the images of, of the of the Arab Revolution, how they how they beat everything up, you know, and stole all the gold and silver and and gold plated toilets, you know, and but here they they leave it as it is. It's um, very collected, very peaceful, very respectful. Um, these are great people. I can see this. Very nice, lovely people. Here's one of Yanukovych's uh, gold-plated toilets. You know, it's, no, seriously, they found it in his Swiss chalet as well. Everything gold, a gold-plated toilet. Wow, the, do you um, do you does anybody trust a guy who puts his uh, who, who puts his sloppy ass on a on a gold-plated toilet? What kind of a what kind of a person is this? Isn't it sick? So and he's a friend of Putin, you know, who's supposed to be against queers and all that. And these type of friends he's having with a with a pink bedroom and all this, they're all lying. You know, all of them. All these politicians. Well and my choice is the Ukrainian people, that's my choice. Oh, all these pharaohs here. <laughs> and this is what the brave Ukrainian people made out of it. So here's Ukraine, um, Yanukovych sitting on his on his gold toilet in a cage on the Maidan Square, and a child looking at him, <laughs> looking at Putin's big friend, eh? And the pal of the uh, of the oligarchs and the other the other pharaohs. Wow. Oh. Aren't they great, the Ukrainians? I mean, I I understand that um, the pharaohs and the arist the aristocracy don't like these kind of people very much. <laughs> a gold plated a toilet I must be joking. I hear they probably pulled off a statue on some or Lenin statue or something on a pillar and put the the, the gold plated at Yanukovych Putin's friend toilet on top of it. <laughs> fabulous! This is fabulous, folks. Hey, Putin, you got any more friends with gold plated toilets? Or maybe pink plated toilets? Or both pink and gold? I think you do, mate. I got you red handed, pal. Or gold handed. <laughs> I got you pink handed, pal. <laughs> So this is from Wikipedia in, uh, about Yanukovych. When he was 17 in, 19, in the wild 60s, it says, he was even uh, uh, sentenced for robbery and assault. I, uh, I mean, the guy's a hip hopper, man, with a, uh, with a gold plated toilet and a lot of gold chains around his, instead of gold chains around his neck, he's got a gold plated toilet, you know. How come they always are, you know, these guys always sort of are attracted again um, towards gold? I mean, I prefer plastic. Yeah, look, this is from a, uh, from a, it's, it's, it was written a couple of days ago. Yeah. And this guy here, uh, Kolomoisky, an, an oligarch, he's, um, he became now in the new government, the self-elected government or whatever. He became a governor or a uh, or a, a a minister or something, you know. So the guy he's uh, he's Ukrainian Israeli, and uh, he's living in Switzerland. You see, it's all leading back to Switzerland. So what's a guy who's who's in Switzerland and he's 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 the third wealthiest man in the Ukraine. I mean these money collectors and gold plated toilet collectors, why do they have to uh to represent the people? They don't rep represent the people. So well, read it yourself. And uh well, I just uh, I just quote Mr. Lenin again. Or was one of them, eh? Let's read it yourself. The best way to lead the opposition is 
to lead it ourselves. And this is what already happened again. The Ukrainians they die in the streets and they make their revolution and um, the same ones take over again. Nothing, nothing really changed, eh? And this is what Switzerland really is about. They, um, they try to erase all my, all my videos I make, you know, because this is uh, Swiss censorship. You can only, in this country, you can only repeat uh, that Switzerland is neutral, so clean and always innocent. Um, so, yeah, they don't like uh, immigrants who have no money. They only take, take the oligarchs, you know. This is the true face of Switzerland, you know. But it's my this is my concerning my video by General Custer. They don't want the world to see this, eh? And here's another film they um, they blocked or erased in a lot of countries like Italy, Austria, Germany, um, Israel, Poland. Uh, this is uh, this is the true face of Switzerland. You know, they have no freedom of speech. Uh, if you do say something or criticize Switzerland, they they send you the anti-terror police, you know, as they did with me. And this is recent. You know, this was on March uh, the fifth. You know, it's all recent. Uh, they they erased and blocked so many films and even used their the Swiss Nazi department, Justice Department, well, they call it the Justice Department, it's a joke, you know. They probably sit on gold-plated toilets as well, as a present from Mr. Yanukovych and stolen by the Ukrainian people. A present to Switzerland, a gold-plated toilet, eh? Well, where they dump all freedom of speech. And all these oligarchs, and financial criminals and pharaohs and aristocrats and um, they all live in Switzerland where they don't pay any taxes at all well, I mean the aristocracy never paid any taxes they never did really they took the taxes only and Switzerland is like a financial aircraft carrier you know with which they can um, attack the world. Switzerland is like a financial aircraft carrier in a, in, in a financial ocean ready to terrorize and attack the world. That's what Switzerland is. They're, they're all there. Now we have to clean up, you know, if, if, if you want to control the beast, you know, you have to take the head, right? The Swiss financial aircraft carrier exporting bloodshed to the world and the suffering of all peoples. United Banksters of Switzerland. This is Octagon, where all the oligarchs are.